Right, Freelander 2 Love. So we, what have we got? We have got wheel arch graphics. Now, if you have got scratches on your wheel arch, it could be quite expensive to get them repainted. And they do seem to suffer as well on this rear corner. You can see we've got some sort of scuffage here. So we thought maybe we could design a graphic that will make the Freelander 2 look a little bit more like the newer cars, the Discovery Sport, the Defender, where they actually have matte plastic on the arches. So we have designed these graphics here, which we've cut on our vinyl machine. And you can see it's a sort of, it's a tough um, vinyl with a sort of matte surface. So Julian's done these and he's got a little picture here that helps us understand which side. So the bits in red, as you see there, at the front left hand side and then the right, right etc so a couple of points if you have got wheel arches uh, if you have got mud flaps everyone's got wheel arches Tyler if you've got mud flaps the mud flap does come up to this bit so we're not sure whether we should do the graphics to there or whether we maybe well, maybe we should do a little one Tyler thinks we should didn't we so if you haven't got the mud flap you can connect up here I think that's probably a good idea this kit doesn't have that but we will get that sorted We've got spare room on the sheet, haven't we? It's not going to cost any more. So we will add a bit there. We will go here, along here. Right, let's get started. Now, with these vinyl graphics, when we've done vinyl graphics here before, we've used baby shampoo and water, haven't we? And it gives you a bit more sort of slide. Mess it, up a bit. it does give you a, a sort of, but I think the trouble is with these where they're much thinner, they actually don't stick. You, you haven't got enough surface area and it just so I'm going to try and just go with these straight on and I had a little practice with our development ones and that seemed to work right so let's have a look so alcohol wipe just to clean the area get rid of any so obviously give your car a wash first now this wing's got a dent in it but we're not too worried about that are we Tyler yeah you get a lot of good point, Tyler. And this will get rid of some of that road tar. It's not too bad, actually. The alcohol... Some of it is indestructible. <laughs> yeah. Can't shift it for love or money. Sticks like poop to an army blanket, doesn't it, Tyler? Right then. In fact, yeah, it still looks like there's some evidence of some stuff. Right then, here we go. So how about I do the rear and you do the front, Tyler? Should yep. we have a look? We'll have a a skill off competition right left hand side rear so i'll do the rear left hand side so let's have a look rear left hand it reckons it's these inner bits here um that can't be right can it do 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 no he's changed it he's has he moved it all about yeah he's moved it all about look rear left hand side ignore that one tyler right so i need the blue bits let me start with that one well, i'm just gonna go for it tyler yeah, they're not that far. I think I've given you the harder one, Tyler. Imagine. Right, now I think there was some debate about we... I think we made it longer so we could just catch this edge here. There is a little divot at the, the peak. Yes. Now, that we designed it so that... This is this what you're calling a divot, Tyler. Yeah. This should be above the centre of the wheel arch with any luck. I'm just trying to keep that, that little edge. And I guess you can put it a little bit lower if you want. You, it's your car. It's your car, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I reckon I can just do this. Yeah, get, let's give me that squeegee here. Oh. I haven't sure how concentric I've done that. If we've got a bit of a bigger gap going around here, Tom. Will I get a second chance at it? No, I think I'll leave it. I think we'll be alright. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and when you stood up, it's not so. Um, I'm not. Well, our car's also a bit wonky. Our car wonky. I think I might have a go at redoing that one. I'm not that happy with that. So, well, I'm going to see if we can redo it on video just to see how prove a point out for giving it it can be obviously if you can get it right the first time it's better Oh, 
Not too worried about that top edge for the minute. So it's sort of gone a bit funny, but I reckon. A little bit. What's that? I'm trying to see if someone with relatively low skill can actually, how forgiving it's going to be. Too bad at the time. We recovered that. Right, let's get that other door bit on. Right, so here we go. Rear left hand side. This one. So I think the trick is to not worry about the top edge, even if it seems to sort of curl away, just worry about the bottom edge. Looks a bit rubbish at the minute, but I reckon. Yeah, I think I think this is what I worked out before. Now, you, you just do that inner edge, and then the rest. I think I'll. Well, if it, if we, it sort of stretches to. go. Nice, right, stand back, have a look at that, roll it in tight, let's see if you can, you can do that. I'll go over that with a squeegee and get it down a little bit more. Right, go on toilet. I've cleaned it for you, I've done all the hard bit. <laughs> now I've given you the slightly longer one. You got longer arms though, you'll be right. Yeah. And it doesn't seem to do that thing that sellotape does where it, where the static makes it stick to itself. It does seem... I th oh, you're going to eat start from the middle. That might be a wise plan. Again, I'd just do the bottom edge. Don't let the top edge roll out. And that top edge does sort of curl right out. I don't know if you can really zoom out a bit. But don't worry about it. That's it. And again, if it's a bit long at the front, I don't think we're too worried either, are we, Tyler? Yeah, you can just pop it. Maybe might be better. As long as you've got enough length at the other side. Yeah, that's the risk we're starting in the middle, Tyler is that you'll get to the end and find you're short. And we've already lengthened them once, we may have to lengthen them just a fraction more if it's short. Right. That looks right. I think you'd be right. I think you got it. Yes. Um, been... Oh, I like the motion, Tyler. It looks professional. We've done this quite a lot, actually. The graphics now, yeah. Nothing will be as hard as that. 
I still wouldn't call us call us skilled. <laughs> As Frank Spencer used to say, every day, in every way, I get better and better. You wouldn't know Frank Spencer. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm up on some of it. Thanks to George. Money jigger. Money jigger. That looks pretty good, Tyler. So there we go. So we've got, right, well, so we've got that, so that. Oh, there's a front, there is a little front bit extra, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Front left down side. There's this There's that, you've got a little bit there. So I think that's going to go on that front. Now, if you've got the HST body kit, you will have a bit of a thing here. I think we need to do that rear one. We'll get Julian to add that rear one, and then we can get these up for sale. Let's have a look how far that goes down. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? And obviously our bump, front bumper's not painting. I would, I, oh, is it not long enough to go? No, we'll get that bit made longer. I think he's done that for the body kit. Yeah. Um, so put it up towards the top for now, Tyler, so it, me it meets up with the other one. And we'll get Julian just to add a little bit of length on that one so it goes down to meet the seam. And then we'll get that other Right, we'll let Tyler finish that. So we'll get that one made longer, to, but you'll have to cut it if you've got the body kit. And we'll get one done here, and we'll get Ben to take the pictures of that. And obviously, if you've got the mud flaps, you can just leave it. But as we've got room on the vinyl sheet to add it, it seems silly not to add it. So we'll get that done, and we'll get Ben to add some pictures, and then we'll get that on the website. But I think it, I think it does add a sort of clean lines to the car. I like that.